Harbor Towing Companies in Lloyd have come together to put on this event to educate attendees on the importance of slowing down and moving over on the highway. However, towing companies aren't the only ones affected by highway drivers. You'll see with all the trucks that are here tonight isn't just about the tow trucks. Uh, this campaign includes everybody who works roadside, so RCMP, Highway Patrol, mobile mechanics, tire repair, Department of Highways, fire departments, and of course ambulance. So we all work roadside, we all respond to people who are in distress roadside, and so it, it involves all of us. Slowing down and moving over isn't just a courtesy to those working, it's the law. If you see any service vehicle on the side of the road, whether they have blue lights or not, you know, the, the law is to slow to 60, and that's police officers, fire trucks, and that's without traffic control. I mean, construction industry with traffic control is a totally different thing. But uh, the law is to slow to 60. At the end of the day, those working on the side of the road just want to get home safe to their families. It can be quite frustrating and dangerous for those working when they have cars racing down past them. Uh, you people out there are responsible for us, for us getting home safe. We, you know, my, my man and the, the other professional towers from Lloyd Minster, we're all, we're all trained on, on how to run our trucks and how to do the tow job or how to do the recovery job. But we have to depend on, on everybody from the public to slow down and, and give us room to work because that is our workplace. It's really not acceptable. Everybody just needs to slow down, pay attention to what they're doing, and everyone will be able to go home. Um, we're all out there trying to do our job. Um, you know, how would you feel if your wife, brother, husband, whatever, was stuck on the side of the road and they were injured or died because you didn't slow down? Plain and simple. Um, I realize everybody's in a hurry, but the 10, 15 seconds it takes you to slow down can make the difference for somebody's life. As of 2017, towing and service vehicles in Saskatchewan were able to use both blue and amber lights on their vehicles, which has made a huge difference. Alberta and BC are working on following Saskatchewan as well. Back in May of 2017 is when the Saskatchewan Traffic Act changed to permit the towing industry and service industry uh, blue and amber lights on the road. We were the first province in Canada to get that distinctive lighting that was a huge benefit. I mean, I've stood on the side of the road for 39 years and, and uh, the difference from just having an amber beacon to having a blue and amber beacon was uh, unbelievable the first day. The more people who attend these events and listen to what they have to say will provide a safer environment for those working on the highway. The more people that attend these kind of events and see what it is and re are reminded about that message, that's just that many people less we have to worry about bowling us over when we're trying to change a tire on the side of the highway. For more information, visit the Roadside Responders Facebook page. Abby St. John, Primetime Local News.